Hello and a very warm welcome. Alexander Albon will be driving for Red Bull in 2020. Pia Gasly and Danny Kvyat remain in Toro Rosso. So basically, as it is now, Albon has got that seat. Red Bull have given him his chance. He's grasped it with both hands. Seven finishes in the top six and he deserves his seat. I just literally got back in and of course we've got breaking news well about two hours ago. But yeah, that's the right decision. Albon, he's done really well. Um, they wouldn't... I mean, Gasly was never going to get it. Gasly got his chance at Red Bull. He was horrible. Albon's come in. He's done well. I can't believe really Kvyat's not really... He's never even really been mentioned for it. I mean, he's got a podium this season, Kvyat. He's been there, done it, got a podium in a Red Bull. But they've pulled it. Alexander Albon will be in the Red Bull for 2020. Pierre Gasly and Danny Kvyat remain at Toro Rosso. And yeah, no real shocks for me really. I expected this. Uh, maybe didn't expect it to break today, but maybe after the season. But Albon, the softly spoken Thai-based British driver, keeps his seat. He will partner the Dutchman for 2020. Can Red Bull finally push for that World Championship? Or are they going to be still the third best team? Albon, I mean, he has, he did crash, didn't he? He crashed at Mexico, but he has done a good job, to be fair. Obviously, he's outscored Max, but Max has had a few retirements, so you can't really go on that. But Albon, can he, is he capable of winning a race? As a Red Bull driver, you've got to be capable of, capable of winning a race. We've seen it with Weber, Vettel, Max, Ricardo. Is Albon capable of winning a race? Max has won two races this season, off the top of my head. Is that right? Austria and Germany? Or am I missing one? Austria and Germany, I think, off the top of my head. Past Charles Leclerc late on at Austria. Germany was a crazy race in the wet, dries. Yeah, so Albon, he's got to be capable of getting a podium, winning a race. It's probably the right decision by Red Bull. And then you go to Toro Rosso, it's a strong lineup. Danny Kvyat looks a new man this season. He's got a podium in Germany. Pia Gasly had no confidence in Red Bull. He's got his confidence back in Toro Rosso and doing a brilliant job. He got better results in a Toro Rosso than he did a Red Bull. Gasly just wasn't ready for the Red Bull. Didn't suit him, didn't suit his driving style. He looked a broken man. Now he's enjoying his driving again. He looks confident. And been doing a very good job. Kvyat really never mentioned for the seat. Was quite surprising. But I expected this. So that is every F1 seat now filled for 2020. Apart from Williams. Who's going to get that seat? Wow. And we will be doing a Nico Hulkenberg ramp video by the looks of it. Because Hulkenberg's not going to get a seat on the grid. Williams are probably going to put Nicholas Latifi in there, the Canadian F2 driver. And I will be going nuclear with the Nico Hulkenberg ramp video. How Hulkenberg is not on the grid is disgusting. Really is. He's easily, Hulkenberg's easily better than 10 drivers on the grid. Yeah, he hasn't got a seat. Outrageous. But breaking news about two hours ago. Red Bull, Max... And Alexander Albon will drive for them in 2020. Toro Rosso will be Pierre Gasly and Danny Kvyat. And that's 19 seats filled. And we've only got one more at Williams. Unbelievable. And yeah, look out for qualifying reaction, race reaction and driver ratings. The Brazilian Grand Prix coming up this weekend. Mercedes wrap both championships up. It's basically balls out. And who's going to win? The Sao Paulo Grand Prix. Adios. Thanks for watching. Albon gets the Red Bull seat. And Albon, uh, Albon gets the Red Bull seat. Kvyat and Gasly remain at Toro Rosso. Thanks for watching. The right decision in my opinion.